Hi, thanks so much for joining me, and I really appreciate you visiting this channel. As you may know, if you've seen some other videos, I just got back from a very short uh, three-day trip to Havana, Cuba. And one of the things that I did want to do while I was there was to check out a grocery store, if I could. And I found one, actually, right around the corner from my hotel. The hotel is in the background and you see this nice modern looking uh, entrance for a supermercado uh, right next to the hotel. The funny thing is that is the one that is under construction. If you look at this next picture, this is actually the real, the real grocery store, the real supermarket. And it's just across the street. I decided to go in just to see what it was going to look like and I wanted to see if some of the things that I had been told about uh, the food and all was true and it does uh, does seem to be like it was. Uh, one of the things here in the what we would call like the cold section or the fresh section as you see there really is, uh, there's a lot of empty space for items. In this one here, you see, oh, there are a lot of items here. This is mostly uh, hair, you know, shampoo, lotion, uh, excuse me, uh, conditioners, things like that. This particular hair product was um, $3.56 for a, a bottle of it. And the, the amounts did have a dollar sign in front of them. If it was in Cuban pesos, it would say CUP. So this is actually hard currency prices that uh, we're looking at. Let's see, the next one here is, uh, we got ketchup, mustard, a whole bunch of olive oil. Uh, you can see uh, that everything is very, very clean. All the aisles are very wide, but there's not a lot of people uh, shopping. Uh, let me see if I remember the ketchup was a dollar fifty for one of those cans of ketchup, or excuse me, one of those um, bottles of ketchup. Here, this is the meat department, and I didn't want to get too close because I want—I didn't want to—I um, wanted to give the lady her privacy. And I will have to admit that there's more meat there than I thought there would be. But again, there is only one person shopping there. I'm not sure who is going to be able to afford to buy any of, of the meat there. Uh, this is um, tomato sauce. It was $2.75 for a carton. Here's the liquor area, and it is wine and liquor. I didn't uh, really go in there, but uh, obviously very well stocked. This is some type of an orange drink. Let's see, it was a dollar twenty-five if I um, my notes are correct. It's a dollar twenty-five for uh, per bottle. This is a canned pineapple for six dollars and seventy-five cents for the canned pineapple. And we have here some fruit cocktail, and it was six dollars and twenty cents per can. Now there are large cans, but still that would be a little expensive, I think, even for us here in America. This is, and I, I wish I had the price of it, but I couldn't find any prices. Was uh, and the green is the most popular or one of the most popular beers, it's called Cristal. Unfortunately, like I said, I looked all over and I couldn't find a price, so I'm not sure how much it is uh, being sold for. Here we have milk and condensed milk. The milk in the larger containers says it's uh, full fat milk. It's a liter of milk for $3.35. The can of condensed milk was $2.45. And lastly, we have rolls of uh, bathroom tissue. It was four rolls for $1.80. 
That doesn't sound too bad. Now, I give you all of these prices just to let you know uh, in comparison of what an average Cuban makes, they, ha they make about $20 a month. An average Cuban spending the equivalents in Cuban pesos could not afford one of each of those things that we just went through. They are, they do have a monthly ration, which is about, which is worth about $2, which is actually just about 12% of what the food's real value is, because each Cuban receives a monthly ration of seven pounds of rice, a pound of beans, half a bottle of cooking oil, a one bread roll per day, plus some small quantities of eggs, chicken or fish, spaghetti and sugar. Children also do get extra. Uh, they can get a, a liter of milk or some yogurt depending on their age. The latest data that I found might be a year or two out of date, but it still gives you the idea of how much things cost. We can go back into this supermarket and see that there's nobody buying anything and that's why the shelves are all filled with everything because again you would need hard currency to be able to afford this and the only people who really have hard currency are people who work in either entertainment or uh, travel tourist hospitality so if you ever do go they do definitely you know the people that you would uh, be interacting with for the most part would love dollar bills for tips as you can see it actually does make a large percentage of their income just something simple like giving somebody a dollar tip that goes a very long way to helping them be able to afford anything for sustenance so I just wanted to point this out. As Americans, we are extremely lucky and blessed of all of the items that we have that we can just go to the store and buy. Not everybody has that, and it's just good to keep that in mind. At least I believe so. Thanks so much, and I appreciate you visiting the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.